Welcome back. If your iPad suddenly goes dark and unresponsive, or even appears to be in a coma for a couple of days, don't panic. Here are some tried and true methods for you to bring it back to life. Let's try. Let's start with three quick checks. Sometimes, the screen is just unresponsive, or it's a battery drain issue. First, try tapping around the screen, especially with three fingers. This can sometimes wake up an unresponsive iPad or zoom out from a black screen. 2. Make sure it's not a low battery problem. I know you might have already tried to charge it, but it's still black. Sometimes your iPad might simply need a cleaner charging port or a better charger. Let it charge for at least 15 minutes and see what happens. A completely drained battery can make it seem like your iPad is dead. If your iPad didn't turn off for a long time, or your storage is so full, it will get into a black screen too. If all that doesn't do the trick, it's time for a force restart. Method 2. Fix iPad black screen of death with force restart. According to Apple, a force restart is a powerful button combination action that can refresh your system and fix many software-related issues. It's simple and safe to try without losing any data. Let's try. Quickly press and release the volume up button. Then the volume down button. Press and hold the power button for 10 seconds. Like this. Until you see the Apple logo. This might feel like a long time. If your iPad is still unresponsive, it might be a system bug causing the black screen. In that case, you need a computer to perform the following fix. You can use repair software like iTunes or Reiboot. iTunes is a software that Apple launched years ago, but when your screen is black and can't power on, it can't recognize your device and doesn't provide clear guidance. It might also encounter issues like errors if your storage is almost full or if iTunes crashes. So here, I will show you another software called Reiboot which is clearer and more helpful when your screen is completely black and it won't cause data loss. Let's see how it works. Method 3. Fix iPad black screen of death with Reiboot. After downloaded Reiboot, connect your iPad with an official cable and click the green start button in the system repair area. Choose system repair to fix your device without data loss. It might guide you to put your iPad in recovery mode for your iPad, it's simple, just like a force restart, but press the power button longer. Press the volume up button, then the volume down button, and then long press the power button until your device enters the support interface. As your iPad might not show anything on the screen, check if Reiboot detected your device in recovery mode. If it goes to the download page, then you're in recovery mode. Download the matching firmware to repair your iPad error free. The download speed depends on your internet speed. When it's done, click System Repair to let it scan and fix the system. Although it's a paid version, it's the most cost-effective way to try to fix your iPad's black screen issue. Because when you have to go to the repair store, a 600 bill might come to your hand. When the system repair is done, your iPad will return to normal without data loss. Remember to take care of your iPad and free up your storage to keep the system running smoothly this time. If none of these methods work, it might be a hardware issue. In this case, it's best to visit an Apple store or an authorized service provider for further assistance. They can diagnose the problem and suggest repairs or replacements if necessary. That's all for today. I hope these methods help you fix your iPad's black screen of death. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech tips, or leave a comment with any question, whether it related or not. We are always here to help. See you next time.